As stupid as this might sound, um, my 550 here, it's dirty. I haven't washed it in like forever. And what I'm liking about today is I can't just completely waste a day because it is raining. As you can see, things are dripping, water dripping. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wash this thing. And I'm not going to waste any water because I'm going to let Mother Nature do the rinsing for me. So I got this crap that I found in my basement. I don't know if it's any good. It's got shine enhancers. And I'm going to wash the truck real quick. I'm going to park this thing right here on the, the uh, fantastic Ford. And maybe get a somewhat decent view of what I'm doing here. Yeah, buddy. Too bad I didn't have any women in bathing suits, but, you know. Can't get everything you want. You can see how good this is working. It's unbelievable. <laughs> I'm amazed at how quick the dirt is coming off of here. Matter of fact, I'm so amazed I gotta show you. Unbelievable. I never did this in the rain before. It just kind of dawned on me that I don't have to rinse it. But watch this. In that 30 seconds of scrubbing, I guess the uh, the dirt is already pre-soaked, you know, and it's wet. And I got that super soap on there with the shine enhancer. Looks to me as though it's going to be shining pretty good. You see all that dirt up there? Well, it's working. Anyway. Okay. That didn't do too bad. Now it's not really raining that hard. And as you can see, I took a lot of junk off of here. I just loosened it up. And it's not raining that hard now. So I can see the clear coat's a little effed up there. But anyway, you can see. This is what the whole hood looked like. It had that black, that black shit over the whole thing. So, um, the rag was yellow. It's now kind of calf shit color now. But anyway, you just kind of rub that out. Always in the crevices. So because it hasn't rained now very good for the last, the whole time I did this silly little video, uh, I think I'm gonna go get the garden hose and Give her a little rinse anyway. I don't know, I think I got the majority of it off. At least it'll look white again. <laughs> yes, it was white. We'll leave chrome for some other day. Matter of fact, chrome's even off of there. You know, they don't make anything out of metal anymore. When I first bought this truck in 2004, that hole there, I hit an owl 
of all things, an owl. But anyway, yep. Give her a quick rinse over with the hose. If there's any black spots left on it, then I'll just hit it again with the wash and a washcloth, and I think it'll look pretty good. At least better than it was. Okay, I got the hose out here. You can see, washing your truck in the rain is a pretty decent idea because the soap doesn't re-dry. Now, you always start at the top and work your way to the bottom. The sort of simple fact is why wash the dirt at the bottom and then, you know, go to the top and make the dirt go over the, over the entire thing. This is really just a minimal wash deal, but watch as the dirt rolls off. Pretty bad. Actually, I don't think I've ever washed this truck. And I've owned it since 2004. It is a 99. You know, I bought it used and it's cost me big time ever since. I've had nothing but trouble with this motor that's in it. Uh, you know, I hear the 7.3 was supposed to be the best motor Ford ever made. You know, as far as a diesel, but Ford didn't make it. It's international, obviously. Uh, well, yeah. So, anyway. Yeah, just a quick rinse off here. Maybe I'll use five gallons of water. Let the power of Mother Nature keep it damp so I could do the soap job on it. Now the hood actually looks really, really nice compared to what it did when I started. Uh, yeah. So cheap old soap you have laying around a rainy day and your truck can be a little cleaner than it was when you woke up in the morning, you know. Oops. So the camera gets a little wet. Get the other half of it. And holy hell, she's good for another 150,000 miles. Oh, no, I think 150,000. I'll have to look. I don't really remember now. I know I bought it. It had 80, 82,000 miles on it. Which, you know, for a 7.3 diesel was supposed to be nothing. I heard a guy's running these things for three, 400,000 miles. Half a million miles on them. As a matter of fact, I know a guy had over a million on the, uh, the old naturally aspirated one. He's dead now, but the truck rotted off the frame before that motor ever needed anything. They were good ones. You know, they weren't all too powerful. Well, this one's, a, I believe, a 250 horsepower stock. So, I'd be lucky to get another 150,000, but I'm gonna look real quick. Um, yeah, it does. It's got 162,000. 162,659 miles. If it goes that much farther again, it's going to need to for all the money I got involved in this thing. Thanks for watching.